Hello. I gotta talk about the coming alien deception. Okay. Maybe this is why God made made it so I understand the visions of the time at the end that Daniel had in Daniel 7 and 8 and Revelation that John had. Maybe that's for a reason and everyone rejects this not everyone almost everyone <laughs> rejects this line of thinking which is just backwards to me because this line of thinking is the only logical one the Bible has visions that well okay John and Daniel in, in particular were given visions of what would be at the at the end of time or the time of the end but what the world would be like that okay at the time of the end in, in Revelation there was a group of people or I don't, I don't want to go there yet um, the whole world was deceived by beasts that come up out of the earth and one of them makes fire come back down. In Daniel 8, verse 10, that one, that beast, waxes, that's a he-goat, that waxes great, even to the host of heaven. And it casts some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. I would love for someone to name something that can fly or wax up to heaven and cast the stars down. Um, there's a guy named Elon Musk that's got a Falcon 9 booster. It's a rocket and it lands after it delivers Dragon to orbit. Okay, I got sidetracked like I always do. Um, in that Bible story, in the book of Revelation, there's a there's uh, there's a beast that we don't have in the world yet just one and all the other beasts that are mentioned in the Bible that I know of have already done their job they've already completed their task in deceiving the world okay flat earth should be a signal to people that something's changing and that these people, uh, sorry, I keep saying these people, um, someone just pulled out right in front of me, um, these, no, no, I lost track, where was I? Okay, there's no alien deception coming, not, a, not according to the visions in the Bible, those ones, and these are very specific things, and no one wants, no one wants to look at it that way, I tell people that Daniel saw four beasts and they all <laughs> shall arise out of the earth and people tell me I'm crazy for saying that that the rockets and they say no they're kingdoms and kings this yeah uh, does that mean they're men no absolutely not both John and Daniel said that they were horns that they looked like horns okay so something that's visually looking like a horn is not probably and it's called a beast and it is lifted up from the earth okay probably not a man so if we pay very careful attention to the interpretation given in Daniel 7 uh, it says that these great beasts which are four, because Daniel uh, specifically described four completely different from each other beasts. And, it, and then in Daniel 7 verse 17, it says, These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints will take the kingdom. Okay. Um, 
the judgment shall sit. Okay, here's the deal. Where's the alien part in the Bible? Because those four beasts that Daniel saw, and even the one that Daniel saw in chapter 8, verses 1 through 10, the one that I was just telling you about, the he goat, and uh, it waxed great to the host of heaven. Um, that, uh, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. Um, where was I? Those beasts? The four that Daniel saw and the one in Daniel chapter 8, verses 1 through 10, um, that has our, that's already, those are already here, all of them. And then in Revelation 17, where it says, um, there are, what does it say? There are seven kings, five are fallen, one is, and one is not yet come and when he comes you must continue a short space that one is here uh, the only one that isn't isn't well it's here but it, it hasn't it isn't operational yet is the one that's uh, yet to come and will continue a short space when he comes that one we don't have yet every other one we do and right now the the world if you believe you're on a globe, um, you're worshiping an image, a false image. Believing is worshiping, okay? If you believe you're on a sphere, you're worshiping a false image. If you believe that there's a metal machine called the Inter International Space Station above your head floating in space, then you're worshiping the beast. The dragon gives the beast his power, seat, and great authority. Um, yeah, the beast is the ISS. Oh, why did I turn here? I forgot it's like rush hour. Why? That's all right, I only got one exit to go. That was really dumb. Well, anyway, so what I'm thinking got a merge in here so um what I'm thinking is that people just need to realize it people need to realize it okay and uh all the Christians you guys are in really serious trouble I mean like bad things bad things you're worshiping the beast in his image from the Bible if you believe you're on a sphere and if you believe there's a beast up above your head it's just bunk it's bunk it's lies it's deception coming from fallen angels and they have ability to uh, do things up there because that's a prison up there yeah so um, I think I mean like I you know I never like to put like a day or time or something to it but we are much further much much further than anyone wants to realize or admit even or whatever we have been in tribulation for three like some like three years mm -hmm. who has been in tribulation well those that got sealed in their forehead, those are in tribulation. The rest of the world isn't. The rest of the world's going to celebrate soon because we've been tormenting them. That's in Revelation 11. So, everybody's living in denial. I'm not saying everybody, but I mean, the people that this is just like news to. pick up your Bible I guess I don't know like like in my mind the the journey that I've been taken on from the Holy Spirit in the Bible it's such a a huge someone's really got some base um it's a really huge thing 
to learn. It's not like I just think of like where I was two or three years ago versus where I am now. Whoa. I, I don't think I could do it again is what I'm saying. Like I've learned so much and I, I've had to change my understanding on everything and, it, and I love it. It makes sense, but it was, it's difficult, very hard. Like I'm just saying to, it's a lot of work, but, um, either way, that's about, that's about what that is. There's no aliens coming guys. The aliens and the UFOs and the, you know, the, the sci-fi, that's just to make space real so that you, so that we worship an image, a false image. See, so the ISS, it holds up the lie because without the ISS, would there be a set with, we already like, we already can't find a satellite even when we want to get a picture of one or something. Um, so if the ISS wasn't up there in the minds of the world in the mind of the world would space be real at all if rockets didn't exist would space be real at all nope it would just be the sky so uh, in Zechariah 5 when he sees the flying roll yeah that's why the angel says this is the curse that com 